Governor Newsom says California has a unique challenge because basically our state is so big. We have 58 counties and more than a thousand different school districts and by design school decisions are made at the local level. And today we want to show you a school that is making it work. Collegeville Elementary is in San Joaquin County and they've been open since October and since then the principal says they've only had three COVID cases. KCRA3's K Reseed is live from that school for so okay what's the secret K? I don't know if there's a secret, but there are definitely different safety measures in place on this campus here. In fact, one of the things that they do do, well, they, uh, whenever a kid borrows a, a school library book, for instance, and it's returned, that book remains in quarantine for six days. It's a small step, but one that has allowed this school to remain open. Aurora, vente, mija. Vamos a tratar de acabar esto aquí. In the second smallest school in the Escalon Unified School District, <laughs> between dividers, sí, ¿qué? behind masks, ¿Qué tal si lo así? Es emocionante. at oh, a distance, second grade teacher Angelica Vargas me recuerda. is doing what she loves. And I still love the way that education is something that we can do to share with others. And teaching in person. I think I saw myself as as a teacher ever since I was little. Amid a global pandemic. First of all, it was a safety. <laughs> I was like, well, if, uh, let's make sure that everyone has these safe reasons, like everyone's going to be safe. E la la. Vargas says when she first heard on-campus learning would resume to four days a week here. It's been better. Thanks to a waiver, she had concerns. Uh, we are following uh, a rather rigid process. But, but her principal, Dr. George Majeni, had a plan and CDC guidelines to follow. We wanted to be open. We found a way to do it, and we've been doing it since October. I would, I would say very successfully. Majeni says so far only one student. And that there were no other cases that came out of that class. And two staff members have tested positive for COVID-19. They all happened during Christmas break. Everyone follows strict rules, Hola. such as only one class outside during recess. They keep their distance, and the classroom is kept tidy and sanitized. As we have progressed along, that level of fear has diminished in part because everyone's being very respectful of the protocols and the procedures and what we have to do in order to make everything safe for people. The principal says out of 154 students enrolled, only 28 remain distance learning. When you found out that you were going to be able to come back to school, how did you feel about that? Happy. A los tres los vamos a hacer cortito. For Vargas, that joy is mutual. Well, it's not something that just you do a test and you're done. No, it's more of I want to keep learning about things, about interests. In-person classes are four days a week here, and the children are sent home with two meals, one for lunch that they eat at home, and another for breakfast the next day, which they also eat at home. And K, of course, vaccinations for teachers have been such a big issue. Were you able to ask whether any of those teachers have their vaccines yet or where they're planning to get them? Yes, both the principal and Angelica mentioned that they both received their first dose, and they say that's just another added layer of protection. Live in San Joaquin County, K Reseed, KCRA 